Hi, everybody. Today we're doing a show or tell、uh, remote learning with Edmonton Catholic Schools. My name is Alan L. I'm the multimedia guy. And、um, we're basically going to have three C teachers.、Uh, we have Susie, Lauren, and Kathleen. And they're basically going to show and tell what they do to help with student learning. Just as a warning,、um, we are all at home and we all have kids and we have pets. So we don't know what's going to happen throughout the show. So to start, I have Susie Sermon. She is a CAM. Physics and science teacher. She also has three kids, a lot of threes in there. She's at Connor Collins. She does alternative high school.、Uh, what neat thing do you want to show us today? Hi, Alan.、Uh, what I wanted to show you today was just how we are、uh, trying at Cardinal Collins to continue to deliver 30 level material、um, to our students remotely. And so、um, the teachers have all created、uh, video lessons. We're doing our best to include our own faces, our own voices in our video lessons, and as much as possible, also,、um, you know, showing screen annotations so that the experience that the students are getting from home is as close as possible to what they would be getting、um, if they were in front of us in class. And then、uh, we also have.、Um, Just pause this. We also have、uh, Google Sites. So, this is an example of my Google site that shows the students、um, all of the video lessons as well as opportunities for digital exams. And then, lastly,、um, every morning,、um, the students get a video message from me,、um, just kind of telling them what they should be accomplishing for the day. And we found that that Uh, human connection is really important for our students to see their teacher and hear their teacher and be able to interact with their teacher live every day. That it's not just about learning、uh, chemistry or physics, it's also about、uh, building relationships. So, we're really proud of,、uh, of how we've been able to still connect with students in, a, in as real of a way as we can. Great. I never thought, like,、um, like, even for high school student, that having that connection, like doing your message, is probably. Good for them as well, like not just elementary kids or any other students. Yeah, for sure.、Uh, all students、uh, really value that human connection. And, and、uh, you know, some of our students do live by themselves. So、um, this is the, really the only human interaction they're getting right now. So it's really important that they、oh, wow. still feel like they're, they're connected to us. That's good to know. And here's Lawrence Halls. I know you have two kids and they're probably home right now with their dad.、Um, what kind of fun thing they're doing at home for remote learning? And I kind of noticed that you're in、uh, school right now. Yeah, well, today's I am, as the administrators take our turns, we have to, the buildings are still open, as you guys know. Classes are canceled, but one of us has to be here to、uh, man the building. So I'm taking my turn today. So I don't have my little kids, but I did leave stuff at home for them.、Uh, what I'm going to share with you today. Is some of the paper pencil tasks that I've used to extend their learning. Cooper is seven, Penelope is five. And so they both have amazing teachers that have created outstanding Google Classrooms that have wonderful activities that are directly connected, of course, to key learner outcomes and learning intentions. But I wanted to extend that digital screen learning into some paper pencil tasks because I think that it's really important to maintain those structured behaviors. So, one of the things that I'm going to show you would be how I set up. So, they have a clear working space, and、uh, we have been working on focusing on literacy and numeracy. So, my seven year old gets a written prompt where he、um, has to answer a question and do some writing where he's continuing to work on his fine motor and recognizing how to print and spell and space everything out. And he, there's a tactile accomplishment when he's finished. These activities. He feels really good about what he's done when he's done that activity, and it's very motivating and it's very reinforcing. Okay, great. So, next up, we have Kathleen Roof. She is a French immersion teacher. We kind of asked her to come on because she does a lot of、uh, cool posting on Instagram.、Um, do you want to tell us、uh, what you want to show? Or... Sure. Um, I teach French immersion kindergarten at Our Lady of the Prairie School, and you can find all of my activities on Instagram at Madame well, Kathleen Ruff. I like it. Yeah, shameless <laughs> plug.、Awesome. So,、um, just like Lauren was saying,、um, there's lots of hands on activities that kindergarten students and early learning students need to accomplish 
before classes were canceled, we were going to start comparing the length of objects and the height of objects. Um, and I'm the only language model in the classroom for my students, so I needed to find a way to get that language model to parents. So I made a short YouTube video um, that I'm going to share with you here. And it is me walking around my house, um, comparing the height of different objects uh, using the words moins haut and plus haut. That way my students could hear the vocabulary, my parents could hear the vocabulary, and then they would be able to do all of the activities that I had lined out for the rest of the uh, week. So I just created that short video. I put it on our class website um, where we have a week of distance learning activities ready to go. And it was really easy for the parents to see. Um, and then they sent me some photos. So here are some photos of student work that they sent me and emailed me. And they all did a really, really great job. And I got lots of great feedback about that. I like that. Yeah. At least it gets the parents to clean up their uh, cupboards a little bit. <laughs> That's exactly what we said, because one activity was about lining up all of your glassware. So water bottles and all those kinds of things. Yeah, there's some really interesting collections out there. So I'm sure some of them didn't make it back in the cupboard. <laughs> OK, great. Well, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, I know you ladies are probably busy with everything that's happening right now. There's <laughs> one week done. We're 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 getting through this so next week we're going to have a few more other people um here's some quick shots we have some home setup we have some uh, cool art ideas and like how teachers are conferencing to help out each other stay learning stay safe and stay happy so thank you for having Thanks us for having See us bye-bye bye, -bye. bye.